Welcome to today's MTD Daily. Now remember we're doing this every day of the working week. Uh, the weekend is almost upon us, but we've got a great show uh, lined up today. We're going to be joined, or are being joined, uh, by Martin Doyle from the Engineering Technology Group. Uh, Martin, how's things for you at ETG? How are you coping in the uh, current climate? Well, uh, hello Paul. I, I, I wish I could sit here and say it's business as usual, but um, let's face it, it's far from it. Um, but, you know, we're all facing it together. So um, some of us are coping with it better than others. Uh, I think the, um, the benefit of being a privately owned company is that we can um, adapt and, and move and change direction quite quickly without having to worry about taking direction from overseas owners. So um, we're, we're coping as, as well as we can. And your spares and support and service, all of that still operational? It is, uh, it is operational. Um, we're still, we still have the skeleton staff on um, looking after the service element. Um, spares is still um, going out. Um, we still have the technical support side, but we're down to about 25% capacity at the moment. Uh, we have furloughed uh, a good number of employees and we have uh, a good number working from home as well in line with the government uh, directions. Now, can you tell us about some of the involvement you've had in the fight against COVID-19? Because I know you've been doing some tremendous work there, haven't you, in Wellsbourne? Yeah, um, I've seen lots of social media posts and, and, um, and from companies uh, promoting what they've been doing, and, and that's very, very commendable. But we've been doing exactly the same. We're no different, really. Maybe we just haven't shouted about it as much as others. Um, yes, we have supplied... Uh, equipment to um, the likes of the Ventilator Challenge Consortium. Uh, yes, we've got machines out in the showroom that are beavering away, producing uh, critical parts. And, and yes, we've offered used showroom loan machines um, at no cost to, to fight, fight the cause as well. Um, the technical support side of it is, is, is important um, at the moment as well. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing our bit. Well, I did see uh, you also, you also uh, delivered a, a machine. Machines are still going out, uh, you know, to support the medical industry as well. One of your uh, your good customers, uh, is it in Evesham, Rotec, the MX? Rotec, yeah. The MX100, I believe. Some machine that is, isn't it, from Nakamura? Yeah. Well, you guys um, you guys got to see it at the open house, you know. And in, in fact, it's that actual machine that went over to Rotec. Um, I mean, what a great story that was. Uh, I, more to the point, the teamwork that was involved in it, because, you know, Paul um, Paul Butler from Rotec is a very innovative and, um, you know, great entrepreneur, and he always strives to have the best best equipment in his shop. And um, obviously, they the, the consortium looked to him to produce some of these critical parts that I think it's fair to say a lot of people would struggle to produce, you know, if it wasn't for, for Paul's, um, Paul and Rotec, the Rotec team's, so skill levels, you know, that have been in stuck. But, you know, it went right back to the teamwork thing. It was really commendable. We had, um, we had Paul come on to us, tell us that he got this work. He needed he needed help with it. He, he knew about the MX100. He also saw it at the open house um, off the back of one of your videos, actually, um, come and viewed it. And, um, yeah, so he knew what we had available. That machine was actually at the Seco in the Seco showroom. We we put it over into the Seco showroom uh, to do some R and D work on it for somebody else. And uh, on Bank Holiday Friday, um, Seco Dave Magnell actually um, opened the doors to Seco for us so that we could get access to the machine. We decommissioned it on the Friday. Um, it was picked up um, by Silver Knight. The guy Dave at Silver Knight picked it up on the on the Saturday. Um, delivered it directly to Rotec. The Sunday it was commissioned, so we got a, a, a super highly skilled service guy here called, by the name of Alex Price who, who gave up his, his bank holiday weekend to go and recommission the machine. Um, and then the, the other partners pulled together, so so Martin over at Hydrofeed and his team, they worked over the weekend to get a, a specific um, bar feed installed and they installed that on the bank holiday Monday. Um, our, our technical team were in there on the Monday, up and running Tuesday, and we're not just talking um, making washers. You know, this is a this was a, a super high end uh, piece of equipment that we're talking about. So to turn it around in three days is you know, 
it's uh, it's quite quite emotional thinking about it. Teamwork was was fantastic, and and that's what we like to hear stories like this. I mean, we had Paul actually on on the show a, a couple of weeks ago, and I think yeah. at that time he was looking to get involved in the ventilator challenge. Uh, but obviously, you know that that's happened now. That's history, and he's got the machine in. That's a, a really good story, Martin. Uh, what's going to change, Martin, when we come out of this? How how's sort of the industry going to look? How are people going to behave? Uh, what's your opinion on things? Um, you know, it's an opinion, but you know, I I hope I hope the the, the industry will change massively, and and it needs to. To be honest, uh, I think there, there's lots of companies out there that. Um, you know, have known for years that, that they need to, to buy into the latest technology, good quality equipment um, to, to be competitive in, in the global market. And, and I hope the crisis, I'm sure, will, will sort of really bring it home to the rest of them, that uh, to the rest of the manufacturers out there that uh, investing in good quality equipment is, is, is absolutely vital. And that's what you offer at ETG as well, which is a perfect mix, mix to be able to support that type of investment. Yeah, I mean, the automation, the, ty- the turnkey, remote monitoring, uh, the factories and efficient ways of working, that, that's, that's our bag. And, and it definitely be a focus for others uh, coming out the other side of this. So um, we, just, we just hope that we can help more companies reap the, reap the benefits of, of those that we've helped out already. Now, I'm sure you will. And, and, and one of the things that we've been um, talking about on MTD with yourself and Steve in recent uh, months, Martin, is a new product launch. Now, um, hopefully, I'm sure we're probably the first to actually uh, tell the market about this. But maybe on today's show, you could, uh, you could tell us what, what it is that's happening at ETG and what the new products are that you're bringing in uh, and whether anything has changed as a result of the current crisis on that front. Okay, well, yeah. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, we, we can move we can move the direction quickly to suit the market. And uh, although our plans haven't changed at all as far as the launch of the new product, um, we'll obviously change change the way uh, how we bring the initiatives that we've been working on to the market. So um, yeah, I'm certainly happy to give you guys the excuses as as you always get um, from us. So. Um, we spoke to Sheeran, we spoke to Nakamura, we spoke to the Quasars, and their their plan is to to invest in the development of of uh, high end, continue investment in the, in development of high end and super productive multiple axes um, solutions. And we're pleased to hear that as it fits perfectly um, with our core competence, and if, if you like, and continues to be our focus. However, customers um, have, have recognised. From us, the, the added value that we bring to, to our existing high-end offerings and, and are pushing us to use our, our technical expertise and knowledge to identify a, uh, a quality, cost-effective option uh, also. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so, so as always, we aim to deliver. So we've been working for the last year now um, with some uh, partners over in Taiwan and um, we actually have employees employed in Taiwan now as well. So you could say we're, we're shareholders in, in uh, a factory over there now, uh, and we'll be launching our own brand name of machine tools um, that gives the, the market the market access um, to good quality, reliable machine tools developed now, by there's, a there's quite, specialist. There's quite a range as well, isn't there? I mean, I've looked at, at this. Can you tell us it the is, name yeah. maybe and, and just some of the, you know, the makeup of the types of machines that will be under this umbrella? Yeah, well, I, I, I sent across to you an hour uh, an hour ago, you know, the, the, the details. So hopefully you'll be able to share a bit of that, you know, during, during this. But um, yeah, the there is quite a, a well, there's a, there's a vast range, of, but they're all entry level I say all entry level machines up right up onto the get to the gantries, but we're talking entry level lathes, entry level uh, VMCs. There is absolutely no overlap or conflict of interest with our existing um, our existing um, principles that we represent, um, and we will be affectionately calling it the Vulcan range by by ETG. Okay, um, we're going to put some of the details of the products in that brochure over the screen so people will be able to see it. Uh, quite impressively, six machines about to arrive at Wellsbourne as well, I believe, for people to, uh, yeah. when they can, yeah, come and so see them. 
So they're, um, they're, they arrive, I think it's next Wednesday or Thursday. Um, we have three VMCs, arri three VMCs arriving and three delays, followed up by another eight, I think, in uh, the, uh, the month after. Um, so we'll be, we'll be slowly but surely bringing in a, 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 it's quite a, a vast range there in, in, in itself with the different specifications. Maybe next week I can give you a walk around remotely um, when they arrive and it'll be half the press again for you. I would, I would really uh, yeah, enjoy that. I think if we can do that using the remote technology that we can now, it would be great to take that to our audience as well. And of course, when we can, we'd love to visit Wellsbourne, uh, not just see you again, but um, obviously look at not just your existing principles machines, but of course the new range uh, or the range of Vulcan machines. Martin, we're going to have to close this one off. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. It's been great to hear about uh, ETG's involvement in the Ventilator Challenge and what you're doing to support industry and more importantly, the country at this difficult time. Uh, there you have it, Martin Doyle from the Engineering Technology Group. Uh, we have been talking over recent months about the fact that uh, ETG have got a new product range and you've heard it first here today, what it is uh, and the name of it here on MTD's Daily Show. Uh, join us again on Monday where we'll be talking to another industry guest.